you are open to certain things, it actually happens. Hey all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lagrecia Ekstein, if you are new here. Quick one, I just, I needed to catch all up, right? Last week, Monday, I went to, I was invited to a worship and paint. Um, and it was such a beautiful experience. Number one, I was flabbergasted that I was invited. Like, I suppose when you are open to certain things, it actually happens you know i was in i like for the last couple of years i was in a season where i was like i don't wanna i don't wanna like i'm not looking for new friends i'm not looking to make new um acquaintances or new connections or any of that which is very strange because i'm like always on social media but i was like my I was not open so i wasn't saying it but my heart and my mind and my like it wasn't open i was closed door. and chance is barking and i'm sure we're picking up all of that audio chancy and now he's gonna think i have something for him hey mama no man what's wrong what's wrong mama uh-uh uh-uh no don't lick me Okay, go away now. Thank you. When I decided, like, you know, I am ready to open up myself to new friendships, relationships, acquaintances, um, connections, I started having people um, reach out to me and be like, come and join us. Or let's, you know, build a friendship and see where it goes. Or um i've reached out so it's 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 different it's an amazing experience but i am enjoying it so back to the story so i was invited to a worship and paint and that is exactly what it is we prayed we worshiped and we painted and um we shared um things as women right so as you can appreciate i did not vlog there i did like you know catch the vibes catch a few snippets of the day and i'm going to show you guys all of that but the reason why i didn't speak to you and let you know before i left is because i was running late or i was going to be late if i had to stop and still welcome to my channel da, 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 da. and i am choosing not to be late over content so i made sure that i arrived there on time because the place that i went to i was also not familiar with i was not gonna make myself i was not gonna be late so i needed to leave on time so that i could be there on time and that's why i'm telling you guys about this now so we are going to i'm going to show you guys like what happened last week monday and then when y'all come back i'm going to explain where we are right now okay mm -hmm. Okay, so in my last video, I explained to y'all that I wasn't feeling well, or I haven't been feeling well, and I went to the doctor, and I came, the doctor came back, and they gave me um, the results of my blood tests, and I have been going back and forth with my medical aid, and I'm not going to go into details about that, because that battle is won already, like, I cried 
tears here in the natural and i cried tears before god and i was like please just help me you know like please just help me just sort this out for me you know and this morning i was thinking like because sometimes you okay maybe it's just me i don't know about anybody else but sometimes i i think to myself like but then god why are you allowing me to go through this difficulty on friday i cried so much like i was so frustrated i was so angry i was so disappointed i was so hurt i was so everything every possible negative situation i was feeling sorry for myself in there as well i cried i think i cried for like 90 minutes to two hours like i cried i cried i cried because i got off the phone and this was like after days of going back and forth with these people trying to explain like i need this medication yes it is expensive but this is also a service we pay for you know and i understand and i appreciate that some things are not going to be covered some things are not going to be paid for but i think that in this instance in my instance and maybe a lot of people feel that way too um it wasn't fair so i am going to go through the escalation process well i've been through it already and like my final step of escalation i still need to do and i'm definitely going to do that and it's not about winning you know it is about also expressing your dissatisfaction i think that as um like a lot of times in my life, you know, where I haven't been happy about certain things, I would just leave it, you know, I would just like be like, Ugh, that's just the way it is and leave it. And I'm not that kind of person. Like in my younger days, I used to fight. Like I would fight for what I want. Like I would fight. And like, I feel like I've become like passive, very passive aggressive in a lot of areas of, of my life in the last, like probably 10 years or so where I would just be like, Ugh, you know what? let me just leave it let me just find another way and whatever but this time around i'm not just fighting yeah i'm fighting in prayer as well because i know that that battle is won already and i just need to go and claim the victory and it's not easy to fight in prayer because when you fight in prayer you also need to have faith you know you have to have faith in god's word you have to have faith that if he says it he will do it and you have to have faith that he'll answer you even if it's not the way that you want to be answered and still believe that it will work out for your good you know so on friday i was distraught like i was crying you know and this morning i was thinking like why am i you know like why am i going through all of this and i believe that it's to build compassion and to build empathy there's so many ailments sicknesses diseases that don't show in your like it doesn't the, the symptoms or the effects doesn't show outside of the body it's just inside of the body and a lot of people times people suffer in silence so i'm not the poster child for this diagnosis that the doctor gave me like uh i'm not but it gives me an understanding of a deeper understanding of what it feels like because there's days where I really struggle, you know, and you will look at me and you'll be like, but you're not look, you don't look sick. You don't look ill. You don't, you don't, you don't look like there is something wrong. It doesn't seem like there's something wrong with your body. And it, and without trying to glorify this illness or this diagnosis or, you know, it is difficult at times it is difficult and that was probably the biggest thing that i was upset and sad about on friday was like that it's one it was a relief that i like that i wasn't imagining how i was feeling that was the first part of it two it's like now that you all know and i know that something is not okay and there is a way to fix it or to help me make it better y'all don't want to help me like y'all wanna you know drag this whole thing out and y'all 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 are not being accommodating at all and on the other hand yeah i am trying to live my life you know 
as productively, as fruitfully as possible. And it's difficult. And it's not difficult every day. I'm not gonna lie. But some days like today, it's just a little bit slower. It just takes a little bit longer. Um, and I'm so hard on myself because I look around the house, for example, I'm busy with laundry. And I've only just like, probably like 45 minutes ago, I only put in the second load of washing because it takes so much out of me to, you know. And the other day I was like pushing out this laundry like so fast, like so quickly. I was like, even like, your way does this energy come from? And I know that it's only God that sustains me, you know. Um, but I said all of that to say that in all of this, I am learning to be more compassionate and more empathetic and to understand, truly understand what it feels like when, when you can't see what, like other people can't see what is wrong, but you know what is wrong. So I am literally like, I am just holding on. I'm holding on to God's promise that he's going to make it better. And I just, I came back from like the pharmacy at the hospital closer to the house. I didn't want to take you guys with me because I didn't like, if I had to give more bad news, I was going to be too emotional about it. And I don't like, I really don't want, I don't want that to be the case here. But, you know, like just, and this was like, okay, this morning I got like another, okay, it's going to cost, <laughs> it's going to cost double the amount that we thought it was going to cost if we had to pay cash for it. And there's no way that I'm going to let my husband do that. Like I, I will rather struggle along and I will rather, you know, continue um, pushing through, but I, I cannot, we, we can't spend that type of money when we are already spending that type of money monthly paying for medical aid so i didn't thought like no i'm gonna go and try another way you know i'm gonna go and knock on another door and when i went to go knock now that door was opened so um everything is going to go well and then i will go for the um treatment on tuesday so yeah that's it that's all and I think it was also, um, yeah, I think that's it. That's all I want to say. And I'm hoping that this mic is picking up the sound properly. I will see how we get along today because as I told you guys, it's not easy. Like, I might need to take a nap or just lay down for a bit in order to continue with this video. Died on Calvary, your blood sets me free, and I will worship thee. Mm -hmm. In my darkest night, 
You stepped ahead right on time I call up all your name Your name remains the same And I will give you praise With all of me I worship thee
this is truly one catch up vlog but i'm just jumping in here to let you guys know that this is a few days after our last discussion and um i was getting like i was just doing my chores to get ready to go to the pharmacy once again to go and sort out this whole medication issue i am happy to let y'all know that i was successful and i got the medication and i've been to get the it administered so right now i'm a week post all of that and i just wanted to like wrap up that chapter so that we don't have to like doodle on with it for like 15 more vlogs so that issue is sorted i'm still busy in the battle fighting <laughs> but at least i got the medication sorted so yeah that's it can i get a close of this video thank you so much for watching thank you for being here if you stayed for this long and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it um yeah so i'll see you all in the next video bye <laughs> oops i'm gonna make us <laughs> bye